In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get LaunchBox set up with multiple RetroArch cores with one platform. You may have noticed within RetroArch that for some of the platforms, there are multiple cores. So I'm going to be showing you how to get everything set up so we have a choice within LaunchBox like this. So we can launch with whatever core that we want. And I'm also going to show you how to get a core associated with a specific game. So why would you want to do this? Well, the first thing is compatibility. The cores that you're using may not be compatible with the game that you want to play, causing you to have to chop and change between cores. Secondly, it comes in handy for things like using SNES with the BSNES HD core. I only want the compatible Mode 7 games to be used with the BSNES core, with the rest of the library being taken care of with a different core. And thirdly, it may be that a core has a specific function that you only want to use with one game. Setting this up is actually really easy. So we're just going to bring ourselves up to Tools, Manage, Emulators. We're going to select RetroArch and press Edit. Then we're going to go to Associated Platforms on the left hand side. And we're going to use NES as an example. So we can see NES right here with the Messen Core. So there are four cores available for NES at the moment. So we need to add the other three and associate them to the NES platform. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to add another entry. So find NES in this list here. There we go. And we've already got Messin, so I'm just going to add FCEUM. There we go. Going to add another entry. NES and Nestopia for that one. And then the last one, there we go, is going to be QuickNES. There we go. Now, don't forget, you can set your default emulator by using the checkboxes here. So if there's any one that you particularly want to use by default, make sure you select that. And then we're going to press OK. Then close. And then if you right click on any game now, once it loads up, there we go. Launch with RetroArch, and there are all four of those cores. So you can just launch them nice and easily. There are two different ways to get a game to run with a specific core. The first way is to do that directly within RetroArch itself. You would need to add all of your games to it and then set this on a per game basis using the set core association option. However, if you're like me and you don't like to double up on your workload with RetroArch and LaunchBox, you can just do that within LaunchBox. So I'm just going to right click here, go to edit metadata and media. Then we're going to go down to emulation on the left hand side and you can see I've added a custom command line parameter. And this ensures that this game will always run with quickness over every other core, despite what I've got set as my default. So I'm going to show you what this looks like from scratch. So I'm just going to copy this out of here, close that down, open up 10 yard fight, just go to edit metadata and media, go down to emulation. You'll need to activate this checkbox here and let's just paste that in there. And there we go. So if I wanted to change this to Nestopia, for example, I would just put Nestopia here. There we go. So this is your core name. I'm going to pop this into the description below, but where it says Nestopia Libretro, I'm just going to put core name. Once you've got your custom command line parameter all sorted out, you can just press OK. So now 3D World Runner is running with Quickness, 10 Yard Fight is running with Nestopia, and everything else is running under the default core, which is Messin. Unfortunately, at the moment, there is no way to do this in bulk, so you will need to do this a game at a time. And also, there is no visual indication to tell you that you're using a custom command line parameter. So you're going to want to keep track of which games you're doing that with somehow. But despite that, I still use this feature all of the time. And it really helps me to refine my entire build to make sure that everything just runs how I want it to straight out the gates. So that just about does it for this quick tutorial. I hope I managed to save you some time. And if I did, slam the like and the subscribe button. And if you want to stay up to date with these releases, hit the bell. Now go play some games and I'll catch you next time.